If we look at some of the recent policy changes that have happened federally, cannabis legalization, alcohol sold in grocery stores, or changes to the food guide, I, I think too often we completely ignore overall the impact that policy change has on youth. Rather than going through all the work of developing a new study, contracting scientists, spending millions of dollars to collect that information, all of that's already available within the Compass system. Compass is a science-based research study. We collect data on youth health behavior. Currently, we're following about 65,000 kids a year, which makes us the largest youth health study in Canada, and we're one of the largest internationally. We don't necessarily target one type of youth health behavior. We target substance use and physical activity and healthy eating and mental health. No one's ever done this before, of collecting information on what's going on with kids and also what's going on in the program and policy environment. The difference between intervention and prevention is reducing the chance of the behavior before it begins. We can either treat an adult smoker or we can prevent smoking behaviors from actually developing in youth. In Canada, 60% of uh, chronic disease in the future is caused by completely modifiable risk factors. Prevention efforts and prevention research are actually a lot more cost effective than treating the disease itself. I didn't necessarily make the healthiest choices when I was a youth in high school. When you look back at what the probable cause was of me developing colorectal cancer at this stage of my life as a middle-aged male, it stemmed from um, a lot of the risk behaviors I was participating in when I was a high school student. I really want to have an impact on helping kids change the decisions they're making when they're invincible teenagers. I want to kind of prevent them from having to go through some of the trajectories I'm going through now. Moving forward, what limits Compass is the, the resources we have to expand. We're the size we are because that's the funding we have available from our federal partners. Now it's kind of a crucial time for Compass because if we even have one blip in our funding where we're able to collect these data, we've already lost that important continuity of being able to track kids over time and then all of a sudden this national research asset, that would be gone. If we were able to work with new partners who are interested in advancing youth health, these are the folks we want to be engaged with because the opportunities are basically limitless. As we continue to pick up speed and collect more data among a larger sample of youth, the study is only becoming more and more valuable. We're never going to have an opportunity that's better than the one we have right now to actually have an impact. I like to believe that Compass researchers spark change, I think people are starting to catch on, and I'm confident that the future of research is bright.